What do you do when a bump like this suddenly shows up on your skin and grows fast? Now, it's not a spot, it's not a wart, and it's not quite a skin cancer either. It might be something called a keratoacanthoma. And today, we're gonna unpack what that really means. Hi, I'm Dr. Finbar. I'm a GP with a special interest in dermatology, skin lesions, and skin cancer. And in this video, I'll help you spot a keratoacanthoma, understand why it's tricky, and explain when it needs treatment and when it just might sort itself out. So what is a keratoacanthoma? Well, it's a skin lesion that grows quickly, often forming a dome-shaped lump with a crusty crater in the middle, like a tiny volcano erupting on the skin. But here's the unusual part. Keratoacanthomas sit in this awkward middle ground. They look and grow like a cancer, but many will eventually shrink and disappear on their own. That's what makes them really confusing. Are they harmless or are they hiding something more serious underneath? They're usually quite firm to the touch and can appear red or skin toned and are most common on sun exposed areas like the backs of hands and arms, face and scalp and almost always in people over the age of 60. Keratoacanthomas often appear in people with fair skin and years of sun exposure. UV damage plays a major role. Other risk factors include getting older. Most people are over 60, as I've already said. Men get them more often than women. Uh, weakened immune systems can be a factor also, like after organ transplant or due to immunosuppressant drugs. And then old skin injuries or old scars, they can appear at sites of trauma or even after cosmetic procedures. And very rarely, certain genetic syndromes can cause multiple lesions. Now here's the challenge. Keratoacanthoma and squamous cell carcinoma or SCC can look identical, even to a trained eye. Both can be fast growing, crusty and sit in sun damaged skin. Now some keratoacanthomas regress or disappear on their own, but others don't. And a few squamous cell cancers can grow just like this and don't stop. Red flags that suggest it's not a classic keratoacanthoma include growth that's going on six to eight weeks after it has started, or if there's irregular borders, or if there's bleeding, or any ulcer that doesn't seem to heal. That's like a scabby growth that doesn't heal. And while keratoacanthoma often has a symmetrical crater, it's impossible to rule out cancer without a biopsy. And that's why we usually treat it as suspicious until proven otherwise. Treatment is straightforward. We usually just cut them out, remove it surgically. So a surgical excision with several millimeters of margin around to ensure it gets rid of all of the lump and we send it to the lab where it gets embedded in wax and sliced extremely finely and put onto glass slide so that the pathologist can look at the type of cells under the microscope to confirm the actual diagnosis and also to make sure that all the lesion has remo been removed. That means that the margin around the edges and underneath it are all clear of tumor. Now, there's also some non-surgical options in selected cases like cryotherapy, uh, topical creams or injections, but those are only used when the patient may not be fit enough for surgery or we're very confident that the diagnosis is benign. And yes, some keratoacanthomas do shrink by themselves, but unless we have already confirmed what it is, watching and waiting isn't the safest strategy. If it's a skin cancer, delay could cause problems later on, and that's why we usually cut them out as soon as possible. So here's the bottom line. Keratoacanthomas may look aggressive, but most are completely treatable and don't spread. If you notice a fast growing volcano-like lump on your skin, don't panic, but you do need to get it checked. It could be a keratoacanthoma or it could be something else that needs attention like an SCC. Either way, with the right care, you'll be sorted quickly and safely. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please give it a like and share it with someone who you think might need it. Someone who's got a strange lump or growth and might get some benefit from it or other videos that I make on skin lesions. And if you want to learn more about SCC skin cancers, also watch this next video as I've made a whole one on SCCs and that can sometimes be mistaken for keratoacanthoma. So, stay sun smart, keep an eye on your skin and I'll see you soon.